Hi and welcome to my channel Modern Modis. In today's video I'm going to show you how I took this men's sweater and turned it into this cardigan and tank set. If you want to see how this process unfolded, keep watching. started by cutting the sweater to the length I want the cardigan to be plus an extra inch for hem allowance. With the sweater on, I pinched the excess fabric at the front and pinned to mark where I cut the front. Then I folded the cuffs of the sleeve up according to where I wanted my sleeve length to end. I marked the front from where I pinned down the entire front and cut along that line. Now I'm going to sew around the sleeves along the beginning of the cuff. But first I'm going to hem the front. I'm being very careful not to pull and stretch the sweater as I hem to prevent the edge from being wavy. Then I sew the cuffs into their new position. And last, I hemmed the bottom of the cardigan with a double fold. To finish the cardigan, I cut the excess fabric from the sleeve and finish the raw edge with an overlock stitch. I used the bottom portion of the sweater to make the tank. With this around me like a tube top, I marked where it needs to be taken in to fit well. Then I sold it along the line I marked. I cut off the excess fabric then finished the raw edge with a zigzag stitch and hemmed the edge with a double fold. This hem side was going to be the top of the tank, but when I tried it on I felt like it looked better with the hemmed edge at the bottom, it just matched the cardigan better. So with the rest of the fabric, I cut two shoulder straps. I 
I wanted my straps to be wider than spaghetti straps so I cut two more to be the underside of those straps since I didn't want to hem my shoulder straps too thin. I sewed the two together around every edge except the top edge. Then I pull the shoulder strap right side out. I folded in the edge, left undone and top stitched around the entire shoulder strap and repeat it with the other shoulder strap. Next, I pinned my shoulder straps onto the top and sewed them on. And that completes this project. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.